welcome back to another episode of the Sister Talk. I'm your host, Gold Chain Diva, and this is my sister, Miss BD, and y'all already know that's what a Z. And we're just two sisters with a lot to talk about. about, and we always got a lot to talk about. We really do, y'all. We really do. So, what's been going on this week with you, sis? Listen, let's talk about how I needed to recover. Y'all remember Not it was recover. our it was our sister's birthday. Look, and we about to talk about them. Yes, we just are. because of that. Yes. But go ahead, sis. So I had to recover, y'all. Like being thirty-one and drinking is no <laughs> is no joke. I'm talking about no joke at all. I was hurting. Girl, uh, first of all, you and me both was hurting. I was. Y'all, the sunlight was hurting me. We did have a good breakfast at the hotel, so yes. that was all. That was nice. First of all, I blame it on me. I'll take responsibility. Um, and the reason why I'll take responsibility is because we're not in our twenties no more. No. And for whatever no. reason, I thought it was okay to have a marathon birthday. Listen, uh, we um, went all, all day. First of all, Listen. all day, all night into all day because what we didn't plan. Was, was Friday night no. when we ended up lit. And, and that we, was that was the problem. <laughs> that was the problem. And uh, neither here nor there, that was fun though. I mean, absolutely. That was a great time. Listen, it was a nice way to bring in my birthday that I did not expect. <laughs> and we got our little bachata one Listen, without us knowing. All I'll say was a lot of shots that was bought that I didn't expect. Yes. You know, my good friend, she treated me for my birthday. Yes, I so did. So I can't complain. <laughs> I enjoyed it myself. Yes, it was uh, But I think that was, that was what got us because we... Drink that night. Yes, we, we didn't did. get in until like 2 30, 3 o'clock in the morning. Yes. And then we got up early. Yes, we did. We traveled to Carlisle. Yes, we did. We <laughs> we play laser tag. Oh, man, whoever said laser tag was not a uh, like a sport. Well, because I well, anybody who said that obviously played themselves. So. Yes, because I was sweating. <laughs> My good sis kept getting what was it? How many times out of the sessions we did you got top? Well, I got top every single time. Okay, she usually on our she, on our team. <laughs> she got now. Top. What ended up happening was because I told I got a fan club. I had a fan club, yes. <laughs> and I look and I ain't, I'm not even boasting. I'm not even bragging. Right. I really did have a fan club because uh-huh. I was I'm just walking out of the thing. My I lost my breath. I'm trying to catch my breath, mm-hmm. wipe the sweat on my forehead. I yes. walk out the door. Are you cold chain diva? Yeah, because oh my god, you were up top the oh, whole time, <laughs> and like they literally saw. That yeah, they started getting it up for me. Listen. Because what happened was once they realized that I was the top person yeah. and what I was doing, what my strategy mm-hmm. was, they was waiting for me at the front though. No. Not the front. <laughs> listen, and them little kids was not playing. They was running around. They was listen. But they wasn't following the rules. No, because you wasn't supposed to run. Well, not even just that because uh, I was, I was irritated. What's your <laughs> <laughs> See, I was like, I'm about to get on that. No, you said you were because ready. I was running. Okay. I was running. I'm not gonna lie. Listen, I wasn't there. It was war, okay? <laughs> because listen, it was one point where I know you saw on that left side, right? Because mm-hmm. I kept going over to the left side because that base was right there. Yeah. Malcolm and Keith was standing over to the side. Oh my! Literally, God. I ran up that ramp. Boom, 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 and just ran straight past it. Which- <laughs> Listen, it was a war. <laughs> Listen, it definitely was. But the kids, they wasn't following the rules. That's okay. why we lost the two second rounds because mm-hmm. they weren't running back to charge their guns and their vests back up. Got you. They weren't like doing what they needed to do to make us win. Mm-hmm. And then the little boy had me dying. I felt so bad for him. We kept saying, my asthma, my oh asthma. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. <laughs> That's weird that you say that. I seen him and I heard him breathing. It wasn't even that I seen him first. I heard him breathing, and he was like, oh. and I'm like, well, that's I not. I was just like, I was like, please don't pass out. Like, <laughs> if you gotta stop, it's okay. Like, yeah. get yourself together. He was a chunkier he boy. He was a chunkier yes. boy. I said, listen, and I feel bad because I got a video with him saying my asthma, oh. and I said, that's what I'm saying. No. <laughs> <laughs> it don't got not one lick of asthma. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's what I'm saying. For real. Okay. We outside. We ain't playing with these boys. We ain't playing with them. We ain't playing with them. Oh! 
listen. Oh my gosh, but no, so listen. Clearly, we had an amazing time. Yeah, we did. Like we did that. We did uh, miniature golf. We did um, go kart racing. Yes. We did the arcade. It was just so much to do. Like I felt like a big kid again. Yes. Definitely want to go back. Yes. Because I, I think to. the girls against guys thing. Like we had them. Yeah. If I would have took more time to show y'all the modes. Yes. We would have beat them. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was. It was but it was a tie. All in all, we played four rounds. It was mm -hmm. forty nine minutes. That's what killed us. Yeah. Because we played like, four rounds in forty nine minutes. Like, shoot. And it, it was tied. We won two. They won two. So we gotta have a tiebreaker. All right. But yeah, right. that's not even the say. That wasn't even the end of the day. No, it wasn't. Then we went from there to Baltimore. Yes, we did. Right from there to right. Baltimore. Yeah. Was, we <laughs> went to go eat at K Pot, which yes. is hot pot and Korean barbecue, yes. which is a new experience for everybody. Yes, that was definitely awesome. Um, I, me and Malcolm already decided we want to go back. Well, I'm going with y'all. Okay. Third wheeling. Listen, we want to go back because <laughs> I want to have the experience again. Okay. You know what well, I mean? Well I, well, I told you the one in Harrisburg should be yes. open and soon. Okay. So I'm really hoping it opens soon. I'm okay. going to just have to impose on date night. Do well. That's fine. I don't. That's fine. It's not. You're not imposing. Don't worry about it. It's all right. I'm gonna have to impose on date night. But um, so we went to the Korean barbecue, yes. and then for whatever reason, we went straight to a hookah bar. Yes, we did. Hookah club bar. Whatever. Yes. And man, did we show our ages? Because all of us were sitting there slumped. Like this. Listen, <laughs> slumped on our. And, then, and you know, at some point, I stood up because I'm just like, listen. But they were standing up on. Chairs and twerking. I mean, twer I mean, twerking twerking in a hall. Souls out. All I saw was ass, yes. ass, 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 Listen, ass, ass, everywhere, ass, ass. Like, everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. I'm like, this is crazy. This is crazy. Yes, like, that's all I saw was a bunch of butt everywhere, and it was definitely all twerk music, and it was definitely all music that we don't know nothing about. Besides so, Miley Cyrus, let me put your hand. Um, what's that song called? Uh, Party in the USA. Which t took us right back. To no, high it took her back to high school. I quickly. I was like this. <laughs> I was excited. But no, I realized next year, one activity and that's it. Yeah. yeah. Look, and honestly, next year, spa. Listen, I'm here for that. So, but that. yes, we had an amazing time. Yes, Cheers fun. to a nice 31st birthday. Yes, you know, I felt all the love. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. But yes, so we had an amazing week um, leading up till now. So let's talk. It's time to spill the tea. Right. Let's spill the, the tea. Sorry. The spit. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so first on school the tea um you know always on tiktok we love tiktok we always say it enough. TikTok. TikTok, um, we love tiktok we love tiktok tiktok <laughs> sponsor us please we yes love tiktok so anyway um florida keys first of all i've been to miami once i knew the florida keys i'm not good at social studies it's right off right off of florida mm. you know a husband his family, which consisted of his wife, his son, mm -hmm. and then I want to say it was his I think nephew. It was a nephew yeah. Um, they did parasailing. Now, I instantly it caught my attention because I am don't know if I ever told you it's manatees that I'm no, scared. No, you definitely told me because I laughed at you. I'm like manatees. Manatees I'm scared of, which are in Florida. Yes, they are. <laughs> And it's parasailing because I can't swim. Okay. So and and that's and not being the height is not the issue for me. It's for the me, can't swim. For me, I always wanted to do parasailing. Like mm -hmm. I'm an adventurous person. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, in my mind, parasailing has a weight limit. I don't know. Listen, I know that's not true because I didn't see all types of shapes and sizes on there. Yes. But for me personally, mm -hmm. you won't catch me parasailing. Okay. Well, I'm glad <laughs> we can be you know on agreement of that. Um. They went parasailing. Um, the the husband noticed that it was cloudy and what didn't look like it was good weather. So he let his wife, his son, and the nephew go first. Mm -hmm. He stayed on the boat. They take them out. They're having fun. Ooh, look at them, pictures and stuff. Right. They notice the wind picks up. Mm -hmm. The wind starts to take the parasail shoe mm -hmm. and then instead of it's they're guiding the boat now yeah so the wind yeah. is pulling them mm -hmm. so i'm thinking as i'm listening to the story i'm like man i know that that husband had to, what could have been going through his head he's looking at the boat driver like listen yeah i mean because i mean we definitely got a note that they absolutely tried to pull them in they tried with they all could, their might the and wind. they could not yeah it was just that strong it was that and strong. like you said it was pulling the boat at this point 
So, I mean, they were kind of like, it was a done deal at that point. It was a super done deal, and the only other option that the boat driver said was cut, cut the cord. Loose. Cut the cord. Cut the cord, and this man had to watch his family, wife, son, and nephew, fly into a bridge. Mm -hmm. The wife did not make it. Yeah, because they told away. him, they said, when they made the, the choice to cut the line, mm -hmm. they said, the, the boat, I mean, the bridge will catch them. And he was like, the bridge? That's it, that don't even sound safe. But, I mean, that was the only alternative that they had. And so, like you said, the wife passed away, and then the ki kids were severely injured. Severely injured. So I think that really was the only chance that they had, even though it ended up in fatality. I mean, at least two people survived. But the boat driver got uh, charged for murder. Manslaughter. Manslaughter. Like, yeah. this is the crazy thing. I feel like they shouldn't even have let them in the air. Mm -hmm. If you knew that it was going to be bad, first of all, another thing, what do you know me for looking on my phone? What am I always the watching? The weather. You know, I don't, <laughs> you know I do not play about that. No, you definitely don't be playing about it because I'm the one that typically never checks the weather. Right. You're always like, T, it's going to be a beautiful weekend or it's not. Or it's not, And yes. if it's not, you know what I always do. Yeah. I pray the rain away. Yes, you do. And, <laughs> and I works. have to say it works. It works. You pray the, way, the rain away he definitely works, but it's just unfortunate that, you know, he had to lose his life partner his wife you know what i mean and his other you know his son and his nephew got injured and to me it just makes it more of a reason why i would never do this listen first of all <laughs> like, i think that at this big age of 31 every year we go further in life we yeah. find more reasons not to do something yeah okay so i don't want to ride roller coasters no more <sighs> see yeah yeah i, I, I will i teeter totter with that because i will but the mm -hmm. thing about it is, like, because I'm a more bustier female, yeah. if they gotta push too hard here to get me in there, it's not worth it. When I was a kid, I used to be like, hey, go ahead and do it. Yeah. No. These days, I will start hyperventilating. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, freaking the hell out. So, yeah. it's a no for me. Yeah, I feel you. Um, carnival rides mm -hmm. is a no for me, though. After period. that boy, listen. After stuff start flying off, they not yeah. checking mm -hmm. for maintenance. Mm -hmm. I'm good on that. Mm -hmm. um, but I think every year we go, we just decide not to do more things. But definitely um, a tra tragedy because, I mean, come on now. Everybody, when they go on vacation, they want to go parasail. I've Absolutely. seen several people do it. Yes. Um, but definitely a tragedy. And we definitely send our wishes to yes. the father who, you know, lost his life. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, so more on Spill the Tea. Um, right now, we've talked about our girl, Shakari Richardson. Yes, we have. Several times. Yes. The we've talked about her. The lashes. Yes. we talked girl. about Shakari. <laughs> Richardson several times mm -hmm. uh, we talked about you know how much she's under the microscope for you know having her colorful hair colorful nails um, and just being totally different than what they're normally seeing a track star be mm -hmm. uh, so right now Shakari Richardson is actually in the news for a positive reason okay um, so right now she is uh, in the news for actually surpassing um, last year's victor in the hundred meter dash um, and she passed them, I want to say, by like two seconds. Okay. Uh, so her finishing time was 2.6, wait, not two, 10.65 seconds. That's fast. First of all, it's crazy. Yes. <laughs> and even in her surpassing the person from last year um, that won that race, she also surpassed Flojo, which is also known as one of the fastest women in the world. Okay. Um, so she surpassed her record. Flojo's record was 10.70, mm -hmm. um, and she re she landed that record in 1988. Um, and so Shakari passed her up by like five point what point zero five seconds. Right. Um, but Flojo still remains the fastest woman in the world because her best time is 10.49. But that was a record that she landed at the age of 28. Shakari is 23. Woo! So that means she got more than enough time to listen, level yeah. up. For yeah. real. Like, that's crazy. First of all, running is hard. Mm -hmm. Okay? Running up my steps is hard enough. Mm -hmm. Let alone running that fast. Mm -hmm. Like, that's crazy. That takes endurance. That takes, uh, you know, regardless of what they said about her, that, that shows dedication. Mm -hmm. That shows, you know, she was just able to kind of block out the haters and everything else everybody had to say and just focus in on what the goal she wanted to accomplish so well you. one thing i say because <laughs> you know the internet is a very funny place what they say? What <laughs> so they somebody say? had posted a status and was like imagine if shikari richard if you was in a relationship with shikari and she took your phone and started running <laughs> <laughs> and i 
died. But yeah. because first of all, like, before I saw that status, I was really thinking to myself, like, I kind of just want to race her just to see how much faster if she is than me. Like, I, I got a picture how, like, sad. How Listen, she really is because I, I mean, know. come on now. I know. She would probably dust me. Listen. <laughs> Like, leave me in the, the dust. Listen, I would just be happy just to be running beside her. I mean, that's so crazy. You wouldn't be running beside her. She would <laughs> You would not be beside her. You might no. start off beside her. That's what I mean. I, I would know. be, oh, she's being facetious, y'all. Listen, I'm, I'm crying and laughing and my eyelashes are going to come off. But, um, yeah, I don't know. That's crazy. That's, I, now I have a picture of, of us running. Me, you, Shakari, we're Listen, Sister Talk Foot Race is coming soon. Yes. Who's better, Gold Chain Fever or Miss Beatty? We, we, we shall see. We shall To be see. continued. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, you know, that that was a, a lighthearted story. Yes. But in oh. different news, because, uh, you know, we, we talked about the Paris Salem family. Yes, we um, did. And then we now have a young lady who's oh. on trial for murder. Yes, she is, y'all. Um, listen. So I'll let you talk about that. Listen, when I found this story, first of all, I want to say it happened, this incident happened two years ago. Okay. So she was 17 when, the when, it, when happened. it happened. Now she's 19. Okay. Okay. Everybody, all the younger kids in this are 19. Um, Mackenzie Schiller <coughs> uh, had Dominic Russo, which was her boyfriend, okay. and his best friend, Damian Flanagan. Uh, they were all in the car, um, and she pretty much did 100 miles per hour towards a brick wall. Mm -hmm. And not only did she got hurt, yeah, she went into the hospital, but she killed the boyfriend and she killed his friend. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's crazy because when I first watched the story, I'm just like, uh, like maybe she was drunk driving. I don't know, high. Who knows? No, that girl premeditated. She premed like she premeditated. But you know how sick of a person you have to be because. I mean, I think it's, we have to note that not only was she trying to kill them, mm -hmm. she was trying to kill herself. And she just didn't succeed. And she didn't succeed. And the craziest part of that story to me was when they said that her phone could be traced to that same place, like literally days before she actually did it. So she actually practiced Practice what she was going to do. What she was going to do. Girl, why didn't you just do it that night and kill yourself and, and that's it? Why do you got to bring somebody else into it? Because I feel like... And I don't want to get off subject bringing this up, but I feel like we don't talk about, we, we had Chris Brown and made a song called Young Love. Mm -hmm. We don't talk about what young love is and how it could feel. Mm -hmm. We don't know how it feels I mean, when we are young. You know what I mean? Kind of. When we were young? No, 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 no. What I'm saying, no, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm saying like you don't know how love feels before you feel it. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like you're not really like sure, like man. Right. I'm really like loving this person a little bit too much that. Well, I mean, we've talked about in previous episode crimes of passion. Yeah. It's a real thing. Yeah. Even as an adult, you got crazy adults out here that's like, I'd rather kill you than yeah. let somebody else have you. And you know, I make, and I guess this is the one time that I'm like facetious, but I make little jokes. Not, nah, okay, let me see y'all. I'm about to incriminate myself. <laughs> Damn. But no, listen, I make little jokes like, listen, you ain't going nowhere. The only way out of this relationship is, is in a box. box. Okay? <laughs> okay? Like, a box. I know you was going to say in listen, a box. Listen, in a box, okay? So I make jokes about that, but would I ever seriously hurt my significant other? I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I really wouldn't. But. In this girl's case, she said she want because there was a conversation that happened between um, no 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 there was an argument that happened between the couple before all of this and something that the boy's mom heard her say was like listen I'll kill you in the car or I'll 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 yeah I'll like she threatened him yeah well story time okay I didn't even know I had a story time but, but I got, you got a story, story time. time okay because you were well I called you. Mm. Remember that day I told you I was walking down 2nd Street. Yes, and I'm leaving the store just minding my little business got my little snacks in the bag mm -hmm. And I just hear all of a sudden boom and you know they put those um Roundabouts yes, so literally the car comes around the roundabout But instead of staying on the road on the roundabout the car comes up on the curb Literally spins this pole comes back into the road goes over that little speed bump and literally two seconds later, I hear boom, 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 boom. And literally, and I hear people yelling, like literally in the car. I want to say it was two females were going back and forth with each other. 
I can only assume they were in a domestic situation because that's typically how it works when you're in a car. Like somebody start grabbing a wheel right. going all that toxic mm -hmm. shit. Yes. So next thing I know, they didn't hit about four parked cars on the side of the road. And I'm just like, thank God that they chose to stop. Because, I mean, come on now, that could have just been hit and run. Because, like, come, can you imagine what their insurance was like after well, that? Listen, crazy. Crazy. I heard that your insurance goes crazy after well, you get into something like that. Listen, I got one year. We a little older. I'm a little third. I'm 31 now. Yeah. Um, I want to say when I was like maybe 23, 24, mm -hmm. I got in a two car accidents like pretty much within a year. Okay. My insurance went from $160 a month, I want to say, to I was paying almost $400 a month. Okay. And it had to be that way for years. I was struggling. Okay, yeah, listen, that's so crazy. I can only imagine if they hit four different cars, man, they immediately got put off of that insurance. Yeah, that's four different insurances that they had to, you know, mm -mm. ridiculous. Yeah, that's crazy. But, um, you know, crime of passion is a thing. Yeah, I mean, toxicity is a thing. I don't think she realized how serious it was. How serious? I can't even talk, y'all. <laughs> how serious it was until she was sitting in that courtroom and that judge read that verdict. Yeah. Because beforehand she was kind of like chilling. You know what I mean? She wasn't didn't seem too worried. Now, listen, she had her hand, her nubbies, because they look like nubbies, in front of her mouth, like crying. Yeah, since you're going at 15 years to life. Mm -hmm. So. It, it normally ends up that way right um when you know people they don't quite think about what comes after her because she didn't really think about what happened what was going to happen afterward because in her mind she was going to die yeah but god had other plans yes and she has to sit in jail 15 well they're probably going to make her do the max i think so too they at definitely least, gonna make her do the math. At least 15 years. Yeah. At least 15 yeah. years. And honestly, like, it, it broke my heart, you know, um, just to hear the the mother of the son, like, she 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 was pretty much just like, you know, not only did I just lose my son, I lost two other kids as well. Right. So she's showing sympathy for her, mm -hmm. but it's just like, damn, you made a wrong decision. Yeah. Like a wrong decision. And now, listen, your mom lost you, I lost my son, and somebody else lost their son. Right. So I mean, and that's why crazy. I say it's so important because in that adolescent age, like, it's so important for you to talk to your children. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, like you said, children don't know what that love feels like. Yeah. Um, until they're in it. Mm -hmm. And so if she had somebody that was more present in her life, mm -hmm. you know, having those conversations with her, you know, helping her express the feelings that she don't necessarily know how to express, Absolutely. like that story could have been totally different. Yeah. Um, so, you know, definitely unfortunate situation. Yeah, super unfortunate. But, you know, we gotta talk about April Jones. April Jones. And my stepson, okay? <laughs> my stepson, because in my mind, me and Omar are married. Listen. Cheers. Listen, let's cheers to that. Cheers to that. One day he's going to find out. <laughs> Listen. But no, I'm sure you all have seen that video going around um, that was captured from a live video that she was doing on her Instagram. Um, and basically it was a video where she was sitting with her son, Mega. Yeah. And um, yeah. I don't know how they got on the topic of Tay Diggs. Yes. I really don't know. But at the end of the day, Mega told everything. Yeah, listen, he was telling it at all, okay? Mega told everything. Um, and that's one thing kids are going to do. They're going to tell you business. Listen, listen. If that's not one thing they, they're going to do, they're definitely going to Definitely going to tell the business. Yes. And so pretty much he gets on there talking about, first of all, spilling the beans that Tate Diggs is a weed head. Oh, oh I mean marijuana. Okay. Listen, hothead. <laughs> <laughs> but that he smokes. Yeah. And she's like, no, he just does edibles. He said, but I smelled it. Though. Yeah, listen, he listen, said. First of all, kids think they know everything, but they yeah. really do. Yeah. Because they be sneaky. Yes. Yes. Sneaking around. Yes. Yes. They're sneaking. Okay. <laughs> so he know what he know. He said what he said. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, then they get to talking and she's like, well, where is Tay at? Or Tay's um, at work. And he's like, he ain't at work. He just ain't here. Listen. And I'm there. He was very confident was about that. Like specific, he, he was ain't very here. confident. Listen, and then the thing that I thought was the most weirdest about that situation was him saying that. Um, what did he say? Hold on, I'm trying. I'm trying to bring myself back to that video when he said that um, she's just doing this for y'all. Mm. That's not the like. I'm telling the truth. I 
don't know if anybody picked up on that. Yeah. But she just doing this for y'all. And so it really got a lot of people thinking, like, did they break up? Are they doing this just for publicity stuff? Yeah. I don't know. But I will say, I hated April Jones until she got with Tay Diggs. And then I kind of had a little bit more respect for her. I, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm right there with you. Um, I felt like she was completely wrong for even looking Little Fizz's way. Mm -hmm. Knowing that they was in a group together, First of all, so she almost messed up my millennium tour. Listen, because <laughs> at, at, by the time it even got to Baltimore, she almost messed it up. Yeah, well, this is the thing. Omarion was so unbothered by it all mm -hmm. that he made the situation like when I looked at the situation, I'm just like, well, dang, I'm caring more than he's caring about the situation. You know what I mean? Like he was just so unbothered, but I feel like she was just so wrong, and I never really got over that. I never really got over that. Listen, like, even I'll tell with you, her with Tay Diggs. Well, they this look, is my thing. I know? think I was able. First of all, I still don't like Little Face. I will never like Little Face. Yeah, he's a little. He's I, he wasn't because my favorite he, out of the He group. was definitely what they call him a B A N a B A N. Not a B A N a B A N. Okay, I like it. Listen, listen. Seventh Street they had a song called B A N's. I'm gonna have to play it for you. I'm gonna have to play it for you. I'm gonna have to play it for you. Okay, okay. But. I would never like him. Mm -hmm. I thought I would never like April Jones again. But I think that she kind of redeemed herself when she got into the situation with Tay Diggs. Okay. Now, can I say whether it's real or not? I don't know because I don't sleep in their bed at night. Right. <laughs> but right, I was able to forgive Little Fish just a little bit only mm -hmm. because he apologized. Gotcha. And he apologized in a public way because he humiliated that man in a public way. Yeah, he did. So he had to. Yeah, and, I for, and until you brought that up just now, I did kind of forget that he did apologize to him. But he's still stage. a man in there. He still is a man in there. But, I mean, at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, April, why you gotta lie? Well, listen, why you gotta lie? For, what were they on TikTok or Facebook or something live? Mm -hmm. Why do you gotta lie? If y'all ain't together, y'all ain't together. Maybe for the publicity, but still, like, yeah. come on, sis. Listen, I don't know. I will say... It could be some truth to it, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I feel like kids just be saying anything. Yeah, they do. And they get carried away at times. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so, I don't know. Mecca might not know as much as he think you know. She should have gave him a mom look. Listen. Well, first of all, when she supposedly showed him them text messages, I'm pretty sure she turned that damn live up and said, Be quiet. You're talking too much. Huh. <laughs> You know, you have you slap him in the mouth for real. Yeah. Boop, boop. Listen, uh, I got slapped in the mouth plenty of times. Me too, day. in public. And I bled. Not bled. Listen, mom, you hear that? You remember? No, that? don't, mom. <laughs> don't hear that. <laughs> Cause that listen, I don't, we don't want no smoke. Yeah, listen. No, listen, definitely don't, okay? But <laughs> Well, listen, it's our favorite time of the night. Mm -hmm. It's time for conspiracy time. Conspiracy fingers. Yes, y'all. Listen, so <laughs> the first thing that we have, sorry y'all, that wine is whining right now. Um, I said Th wine. That's because we want to It ain't even wine, wine, it's champagne. I mean but champagne, wine, it's wine. all the same thing. Yeah, it's so, just sparkling wine. And it's good too, y'all. But um, the first thing I have for Conspiracy Talk today, it's called, a, well, the company is Psych Set. What I'm talking about is a human sleeve. Mm -hmm. I know you had mentioned to me that you have seen this before. Yes. This is my first time seeing mm -hmm. it. I thought it and was I, the most it's, previous. Well, time. I will say this. The internet absolutely goes in cycles. Okay. Because you're not the first person who I've seen this from in the past week or so. Okay. So literally people are talking about it more often. Okay. Um, but I think it's definitely worth noting. Like even though it seems so crazy. Yes. So what we're talking about is like skin suits. So basically like these skin sleeves. Like they're flesh they yes. look like people and they're preserving them in a like you know a fetal type of way yes in a bag like a it's, it's it's creepy it's creep it's creepy and i feel like this goes hand in hand with our last episode how we talked about um elon musk mm -hmm. and him putting the device the neuralink, the, yeah. the neuralinks like i mean yeah it's very similar it's the it's the same thing he they could be creating these sleeves he's creating this chip that can take your memory to go in these human sleeves. Mm -hmm. Who says that? And I know I'm, I, it gives me chills talking about it, y'all. But like, who says we're ever going to have to die? Listen, I'm trying to see the Lord. <laughs> okay? I don't want to be in this world. This world it's crazy. is going to hell in a handbasket. Okay? Listen, we've been reading Revelation and Bible study. Okay? okay. 
And the day that I see the Lord is going to be an amazing day. That's all I got to say about the situation. But continue. So, <laughs> who's going to say that we ever have to die? Just saying. If they can take our memory, our thoughts, our feelings, and put it into this chip device and put it into this fake box. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely a scary situation. Um, and I can absolutely understand why, like, you know, if somebody just randomly saw it on the internet, it would be like, yo, what the F? Yeah. Um, but as I mentioned to you, um, and a lot of people may have seen this show before, it, it was on Netflix. I'm not sure if it's still there, mm -hmm. um, but it's called Altered Carbon. Okay. Um, and basically the whole idea of that show was where they took, um, like a chip. And they basically put your likeness, like your soul, who you are, mm -hmm. all your memories into this chip. Mm -hmm. And then basically, you know, if you're, I don't know, if you want to change sleeves, like change bodies, they implant this chip into another body and then you're a whole new person. Which is crazy. And so you live on and on and on and on and on. Basically, immor what is it? Immortality. Immortality. Yep, yep, yep. Definitely, <laughs> definitely immortality. It's crazy to think about. Look where we started and look where we Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. I mean, I, I definitely say right now we definitely could say it's a conspiracy theory. Yes. Um, but who knows? Maybe in the future it'll be a conspiracy. Who knows? Who knows, y'all? I don't know. Excellent <laughs> conspiracy talk. Um, you know, I love to talk about a good. We've been talking about portals. Yes. We've been talking about statues. Yes. Um, and I still, I don't mean no harm. I want to see that one that we talked about in DC. I really want to go to DC and find that statue because I want to see it in person. Listen, it's never, it's never an issue with us having a sister talk a little, little, little. Listen, a field trip. trip. A field trip. Because I, I got to see this statue in person because yeah. I think one of the biggest things, you know, not to go way off the topic, mm -hmm. but a lot of these statues that they're erecting are hermaphrodites. Mm -hmm. They have no sex. Mm -hmm. So I think there's something to say about that. Yes, there is. But anyway, um, there is a statue. Now, it's so funny because you all know we like we love TikTok. Yes, we do. We love TikTok. Um, so there was a video that was on TikTok, mm -hmm. and we also talked about how The Simpsons um, pretty much predict okay, yes. certain situations in this world. Like literally yes. everything, everything that The Simpsons says, it comes to life. Yes. Um, so apparently The Simpsons had this episode where there was a statue that was um, built, and the statue like just kind of destroyed the whole city with laser beams, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. So they're connecting this and basically saying that it's similar to a statue that was put up in um, Hawaii. Okay. Um, that this was back in 2021, so it's been up for a while now. Um, but basically, there's a statue called um, oh my god, what is it? It's like a very weird name. It's like cold, cold. I don't even want to. It's in Lilla Kalani Park. Okay. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what we gonna go with. That's a word. Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's a word. <laughs> um. And basically, this statue was don't like created and donated by an artist named Henry B. Bianchini. Okay. Um. It's a bronze statue. Oh, this is the name of the statue, but it's even more complex. Hope. Oh. Ho'omalu oh, Upina Kiloi. First of all, I can't even. <laughs> U-K. Hold on. <laughs> H-U-K. Listen, that's a whole bunch of apostrophes. Yeah. Okay, Good that's Lord. what we know. Um, but basically that name in short stands for metamorphosis of a net fisherman, okay? Mm -hmm. So the statue depicts a fisherman that has metamorphosed into a fish. According to Bia Chen, the fisherman is emerging out of the water while holding a net of a fish as an offering to the community. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, you know, he wanted to put this statue in Hawaii because I guess he spent a lot of time in Hawaii. He wanted to dedicate it to the people of Hawaii to show his gratitude, right? Okay. So, in my research of this, I think it's so crazy how apparently the statue was moved several times because people of the community did not like it. Hmm. They had a lot of questions about it. They were unsure about it. It was like, eh, you can't yeah. get jiggy with this. Right, 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 right. Um, so it got moved several times. Um, I would say that now the video that we saw on TikTok actually like kind of had a video that like spliced with. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's inside though. But yes, um, actually had a video that was spliced with a video that looked like Hawaii and it looked like all the town was burnt down. Okay. Um, and so I did my research to see, okay. Did this mirror exactly what the Simpsons said was going to happen? Mm -hmm. And there's no proof. There's no proof that that actually happened in Hawaii. So I would say that it's definitely right now a conspiracy theory. Yes. Nothing has happened in Hawaii as of yet. 
So conspiracy or not? Not conspiracy. Not mm -hmm. yet. All this, <laughs> yeah. Mm, all these natural disasters happen. So. Well, I mean, read Revelation. That'll explain a lot of that to you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Look, not me being a holy roller. Listen, it's okay though. Because <laughs> so we, we making our way through, but it yeah. really is like, like I saw something today on TikTok or Facebook or something that was just like, the world hasn't been the same since the pandemic. No, it hasn't. It hasn't. Every week is something. It is. Very and, much. And I feel like people have changed since then too. Like they, like they didn't change for the for the good. They changed for the bad. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, dang, keeping you inside for that. That amount of time made you come out crazy. and show your ass, as they would say. Like, Listen, I mean, I'm pretty sure we've alluded to this before on previous episodes. Like, COVID allowed a lot of people the time. Well, not really allowed, forced a lot of people to sit with themselves for days mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. So that means that for once they had to confront who they really were. Mm -hmm. All the stuff that they may have been running away from, they had to confront it. Mm -hmm. That on top of now you got okay people getting sick and dying. Yeah. Now on top of that people losing their jobs. Yes. Now on top of that people are not making the money that they want to be making. Now they're not able to pay their bills, pay their rent, you know, put food on the table for their children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people went crazy. Yeah, people did go crazy. And not to mention the uh, the, the 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 stimulus checks. Listen. That they because it's stimulated my Listen, pocket. Honey. <laughs> to be sitting in the bed and you look at your bank account and you see twelve hundred dropping there. I was at OR. I said that, but I ain't gonna lie though. Listen, <laughs> I wasn't frivolous. Oh yeah, I was not frivolous because that camera got bought with that stimulus see, money. See, this is an example of people who do good. Listen, listen, with the okay. Money. Listen, all I'm saying is if they want to put another stimulus on my account, listen, I'm here for it. I wouldn't be mad. About I wouldn't be mad either. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Look, and if they want to hold up the school loans longer, listen, I wouldn't be mad about that either. I wouldn't be mad either. But anyway, you yes. know, we digress. Yeah. <laughs> All we got to say is just pay attention. Yes. Pay attention. Obviously, there's statues popping up everywhere. Mm -hmm. There's photos popping up at all these concerts. Mm -hmm. It's something to pay attention to. I know we might sound like what I call them, the tenfold hat community. Yeah. We might sound crazy. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you never know. So conspiracy or not, or not it's not conspiracy, yeah. not yet. Crazy. Not yet. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, we got a topic. Yes, we do got a topic, y'all. And 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 this topic is not for the lighthearted, you know. Th this it's is not for the lighthearted, so prepare yourself. So prepare yourself. <laughs> um, I feel we like we might get canceled because of it. Because yeah. we haven't been canceled in a couple episodes. Oh, we haven't been canceled. We, we haven't been given canceled. them any controversy the whole second season. Yeah, we haven't given them. We've been chilling. We've been chilling because that first season we went in. We definitely went we in. We went in. So let's get to the topic. Our topic today, y'all, is DL men. And if you don't know what the DL stands for, keep it on the down low, hey. down low, down low. <laughs> <laughs> so DL men, mm -hmm. what, what? Listen. Where do we even begin? Well, let's start with DL men. They've been around yes. for many years. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm sure they play a valuable part mm -hmm. in keeping this society strong. <laughs> I'm sure I do. It's wrong. Yeah. But um, I think the best place to start is why do they even still exist in 2023? Yes. yes. Because I mean, come on now. Everybody, everybody's doing everything at this point. Like, yes. Everything is pretty much acceptable at this point. It is. So why keep Listen, it up there, low? I just feel like personally, this is a personal opinion, y'all. I'm gonna say it one more time. It's a personal opinion. I just feel like. To be a man in a relationship and be on the down low, if your partner does not know that you ever had a thought about a man in that type of way, you are wrong. Mm -hmm. You are wrong. You are wrong. Yeah. I'm sorry. That is something that you should Listen, give that, that woman an that, option. That gives me anxiety. And yeah. you absolutely should give her an option. Yes. But we know these niggas ain't favorable of giving out options. Okay? They yeah, like to make decisions and be sneaky. There you go. Okay? There you go. But, I mean, it definitely should be something that you're up front with. But, it, like I said, it gives me anxiety only because imagine competing with another woman. I don't know. But now you got to compete with another ma a man? It's too many options. Too many. Too, too many. many options. But, too like many. you said, if you give the girl the option, we're in 2023. Yes. You don't know what that girl was open to. She might be like, listen, okay, I'm cool with it. 
Let me know when you, you know, want to stop dealing with me and deal with a man. But as in dealing with a woman and you sneaking and geeking. And creaming and screaming. Creaming and screaming. With a dude, you're wrong. Right. And the, and the number one movie that pops into my head when I said, when we, when talking about this subject is um, Janet Jackson. Yeah. So you let him bend you over. <laughs> <laughs> so you let him bend you over? He said, I ain't letting nobody bend me over. Oh, so you the one giving. See, let me let me stop. Because I'm, I'm listen, listen. No, because that scene is funny as hell. But it's real. Yes. And I'm not going to lie. They, they did so well with that scene that I believe that Omari Hubbard was gay. gay. Listen, for a while. For a very long time. Listen, for a while. It wasn't until he came out as um, being Mary Jane, okay. her love interest on that first season, mm -hmm. that I was like, okay. So he's actually, yeah, yeah. mainly. He ain't <laughs> bending people over. Look, but, uh, listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> see. <laughs> see. <laughs> listen, that's just, it's just so crazy because, you know, as we laugh about it, it's, it's a very serious thing. Yeah. It's a very serious thing. So I guess my question is, why do men choose to be on the down low? Like what what and you can't answer it for me, but like this goes for Oh no, I got an answer. Oh, okay. Never listen, mind. I ain't a man, but I got a I was, I was listen, I, I got it. a I got a theory. Okay. Okay. What's the okay. okay. I'm gonna okay. say that theory. All right. You know that my responses can typically be facetious. Okay. But this is my theory. My theory is that it exists because they nasty. Mm. I think that there's people in this world that as much as we would like to look, I, I struggle with this and I know I'm going to get beat up for saying this, okay. but even though, yes, we typically look at a man that would allow another man to perform a sexual act on him as being gay, mm -hmm. um, I think that it's something to be said about disconnecting the idea of being gay from the act, like the pleasure of it. Okay. So I believe there's people in this world that are just sexual beings. They need a nut. They don't care about how they get it. Mm. Listen, that I, I I agree with you. I agree with you because when men go to jail, when men go to jail, and they're in there for a long period of time, mm -hmm. at some point, that has to... This is when you think about it. It made me think about something because what person that I will not say their name that was recently in jail, you know who I'm talking about, uh -huh. used to tell me that they had, they used to call the men in there that was little... Jones. No, they used to call them the real, um, how, the real housewives of Benner or something like that. Yo, when he told me no. that shit, I died. No. So if they got a name for them, they got a name for them. Honey. Honey, I, I just, that, that just, man, that's just, I don't know, y'all. I just can't, I can't. Well, listen, it. well, you said there was a situation in the burg that well, has been unfolding. It has been unfolding. People was putting it out there and it was, somebody got their huh? By fiend. By fiend. And that's a, listen, that's a, a tale as old as time. Really? Yeah, you never heard about well, I mean, yeah, you never heard about the the um the like the black boys or whatever. No. That be that be dead as me? Yeah. Yes. I can't Listen, they nasty. Man. That's that's how you gotta say it. Nasty. Listen, mm. they don't just be getting the neck uh, either. Not in the moon. Mm. Mm. Y'all see. <laughs> Look, we had a whole conversation. Y'all ain't know nothing about that, okay? Listen, see, listen. But no, it really has been a tale as old as time. Mm -mm. These men are nasty, okay? They're like, I've always heard stories about black boys, like these corner boys, who these fiends don't be having no money to pay for what they try and get. And so they make them get it where they fit in. No. Uh, ew. Listen, no judgment. I know I just said no and ew. No judgment, but still, it, there's judgment. I'm sorry. That's just, y'all. It's definitely judgment. Um, but listen, it was so funny because I was literally having a conversation with one of my guy friends mm -hmm. last week. 
And so he was telling me, because I was telling him, I was thinking about moving to Charlotte, North Carolina. And he lives in Charlotte right now. Okay. And he was basically telling me that, you know, one thing I need to worry about when I moved to Charlotte was the BL men down there because mm -hmm. they really are like down there. Mm -hmm. And so I asked him as my straight friend, mm -hmm. like, you know, just let me, like, you know, let me know if you get weird vibes. Like, if we go out somewhere, let me know if you get weird vibes over somebody. Absolutely. And his thing was, well, I'm not gay, such and such, such and such. But I'm just like, you don't have to be gay. Let me tell you something. It's called a gaydar, and you can tell. You well, he going to say, he gonna say his gaydar is old. But this is my thing. First of all, I have a gay best friend, right? Mm -hmm. I've been around with him in certain settings. So I know how that goes. Mm -hmm. But... This gay best friend always put me on to the signs, okay? Mm -hmm. If a dude is gay and he gonna try a dude that he proposes, like thinks is straight, mm -hmm. there's a way that he's gonna go about doing it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's as simple as a, mm -hmm. and I just seen it in person. Mm -hmm. When I used to work at Sheets on Union Deposit, I used to see it mm -hmm. where guys would be, you know, they all extra Joe and Harrisburg. Yeah. Mm. At the register, they pay for that. Mm. And then they iron up a dude that's walking by. Mm. And I'm like, mm. how are you really not paying attention to your dude, sis? Listen, because I... It happens right in front of your face. Yeah, no, I'm paying attention. What are you looking at? <laughs> Look, head on a swivel. Yeah, listen, what are you looking at? Oh, we looking together? No, uh -uh. we looking together. Listen, not looking together. I know that, what you that, mean. that came out wrong, but you know what I mean. <laughs> like, uh, sir. Yeah. Sir. Sir. Listen. Hey. It's a thing. It happens. But, hey. 2023. I propose that all the DL men just live your truth. Yes. Walk in your truth. Is there a D in the LGBTQDWXBZYS? Not that I know of. To swear to the fourth power? But it needs to be. Yeah. Because that's a, that's a thing. That's a thing. That's a thing. That's a thing. I would love to know what other people think. I know we always say this at the end of each episode. Comment. And seriously, I'm very interested to know other people's opinions on well, that. Listen, we got y'all on live. What are y'all opinions? Yes on the DL men. Like, have you ever encountered any? Yes. Like, if you stories. have, like, give us a story time. <laughs> yes. Tell us, like, what happened. Because Please. we want to hear it. Like, we want to hear it. We're very, very interested. We got three people. And here. if you're man, if you found out that your man was sleeping with a man on the Yes. Alone, how would you feel? How would you feel? How would you feel, y'all? Like, how would you feel? Listen. Look, the way you just said that, yeah, I, know, I know you experienced it. Yeah, so, listen, let us know. She <laughs> said... <laughs> Baby, listen, I already know. I know you got some stories. I know you got some stories. Listen, and we want to hear them. We want to hear them. We want to hear them. Listen, run them likes up too while y'all later. Run please, them likes up. Please, please. Look, I'm tell me your truth. Listen, listen, we're listen, we're here to listen. We're here to listen. So we can listen because I know it was traumatizing because I could only imagine mm -hmm. figuring out figuring out that your man don't only just got eyes for you. Listen, he got eyes for another man. Come on, come on. But I mean, it, it definitely does not surprise me no. that this man was in the trap house. Yeah. Because <laughs> I imagine he was in the trap house. Trap hizzy. Listen, Get and for his, you to say listen, that he had the phone recorded, listen, trap sir, you played yourself. Congratulations. Trap Hizzy getting his dick sucky, Izzy. Mm -hmm. I just is. Izzy. Man. You played yourself, sir, for putting it on camera. Yeah. You could have just had your little moment of pleasure. Pleasure. And, and let, let that be go. that. Nah, he needed to record that shit. That he needed the memory. Fire. He needed the memory. That's nasty. I mean no harm. If nothing else, like, listen. I'm not taking nobody for their sexual pre preference, mm -hmm. but what I think is nasty yeah. is you don't know what these fiends got. Listen, they're fiends. That and you didn't not. cross your mind that you can get something from them. Mm. Like I bet you he didn't put no condom on. Exactly. If you ain't seen in the video, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Wow. Listen, he got gingivitis she all on his TV. <laughs> gingivitis. Well, you know, I think the consensus is DL men are yeah. 
They need to do better. Yes. Look, do. we always constantly tell somebody to be better, but do yes. better. You know, live your truth, speak your truth, own yes. your truth. Yes. And don't hurt people in the process. Yeah. Because okay? that's that's people. the thing. Like, yes. not hurt people in the process. Be yes. true. Yes. Um, but thank you all for tuning in for another episode of the Sisters Talk podcast. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, yes. you know, like this video, share it with all your friends, um, and chime in in the comments with your thoughts on the topics that we talked about tonight. Yeah. So I'm your host, Gold Chain Diva. This is my co-host, Miss Didi, and y'all already know I say it every single time. It's with a Z. <laughs> yep. And you can find me on social media at Gold Chain underscore underscore Diva, and you can find my sister. Miss BD, MZ underscore BD, and that's on all platforms, y'all. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Have a good night. Peace, y'all.